This is a proper lie detector. It came off eBay with its own instructions on how to use it. So let's have a look. Instruction number one, turn it on. Yes, turn it on. That's good. Right, okay. Instruction two, test the lie detector. Right, here we go. Ready, ready? My name is Chris Cullen. <laughs> it works. I am a magician. In actual fact, I am the country's leading family entertainer. I'm the second best family entertainer. In the All right, I'm about average. Right, okay. Now this lie detector, it's very expensive. It costs three thousand pounds. One thousand pounds. All right, I've got it for twenty quid off eBay. Perfect. Right, it's working now. I have to say, you're the loveliest audience I've seen all week. <laughs> it's working, it's working. Right, so we need someone to test it out now, don't we? Who's going to come and have... Right, you want to test it out. Up you come in, up you come. Give him a big clap. Here it he is. There we are. Over here, come this way. Over here, over here. There you go. Perfect. Not over there. Just here, just here. There we go. Right. Okay, what's your name? Coast. Hey, how is it? Hello, Coast. So how are you doing? You say, mind your own business. Never mind. Not you. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we're gonna test the lie detector now, okay? So what's your name? Coast. There you go. Well done. And 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 how old are you? Six. That's working. Okay. Have you got any brothers or sisters? Yes? How, how many have you got? One. You put them up where? Him there! You! Hey, is that your brother? Do you like your brother? Has <laughs> he got smelly feet? No, you... No, no, he just said yes. Right, listen. When you're at home, do you help people with all the chores around the house? No! He told the truth. Do you clean your teeth every night before you go to bed? No, he told the truth as well. Okay, well I reckon he's ready for the game now. So what I want you to do, I want you to turn around that way so you can't see what we're doing. Because over here, we have got what we call in the trade as a prediction. Now do not tell him what animal is on the wand. Keep it, keep it a surprise, okay? Do not tell him what is on the wand. No, don't tell him what's on the wand. Right, now, you sit down there so everybody can see, sit down. Now what we're gonna do, we're going to roll it up so that you can't see it. Okay, you're not looking this way, are you? You're not cheating. Right, okay. So I think we've rolled it up now. We can't see it. Now you can turn around now. You can turn around now. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put the wand inside here like that. And that is going to be what we call a prediction. Wait a minute. Let's just sort it out. That's better. There we are. We'll put it in there again. Because there should be some little bits there to stick it on. Perfect. Now that's our prediction. Now, what are we going to predict? Now, I have got lots and lots of pictures here of farmyard animals. You can't see them yet, so you look that way again. Now, as you can see, all the farmyard animals are all completely different, aren't they? Can you see? They're all completely... I'll show you them a little bit closer up. So, we don't, we'll show them all of them, but... Uh, all this. Right. Now, we've got uh, uh, the horse. There's a donkey. Oh, hello, Danny. Down you get. Good girl, because you're going to get squashed now. You sit down there. There we go. You always sit in the front row. Right. Now, yes. 40 years of this job, and you always sit in the front row. Right. Where were we? Yeah, we've got a horse. We've got a donkey. We've got a cow. We've got a sheep. We've got chickens. Can you see them all? They're all completely different, aren't they? All, all completely different. Now, what we're going to do. We're going to get our friend here to choose just one of these and the trick will be if it matches the prediction down there and that will prove that I am the world's greatest magician, won't it? Yes, right. Okay, good turn around now. Now over here, we've got lots of different pictures and they're all completely different. They're all completely different, so you just choose one. You just point to one, just point, just point that one there. Right, wait a minute, you want that one. Okay, you don't want the next one, you want that one. Okay, right, now I'll take this off, and what you've got to do is you've got to hold it like that next to your chest so nobody can see it, okay? Now you first that way, now, now that way, now. Would it be amazing if he chose 
exactly the same one as the one down there. Would that be amazing? Yeah. Because yeah. I reckon he has chosen the pig. So what we'll do, if you turn it around and show everybody, show everybody the picture. Look at that, it's a pig. Was that not amazing? Hey, absolutely amazing. Well, wait a minute, where'd you get that from? They're all pigs. No. There's only one in there, a sheep, and you chose a sheep. Oh no, I've messed up the trick. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because do you know what? If you stand there, because I actually, I actually have a prediction down there on a sheep, don't I? I have a prediction of... All right, keep your head on. <laughs> Did you do that? Now, I have to be honest with you, I was messing around with you. Over there, all those pictures were pictures of what? Pigs. Because I've got a picture of a pig down there, and that's the way I was going to do the trick, but now you've messed it up because you chose a sheep. So you know what you lot are going to have to do, don't you? You're all going to have to help me change this one. So everybody wiggle their fingers and say the words, Apocadabra! Here we go! Look at that! Give yourselves a big clap, come on, there we go. Hey, 